Hello, come in, come in. Th there's nothing to be afraid of, my friend. We're all under the supervision of the fat man, so there's no need to be a stranger. Have a seat. So, you're probably wondering as to why I invited you here today. Good, uh, well, we'll be facing the Christmas crunch soon enough. Now, I know you're new to being a manager, but as I assume you can guess, there's a period of time in which we need to increase labor production, uh, which we like to call the Christmas crunch. I have called you here today for two reasons which involve this event. Number one is to address the shortage in production from your region. And number two is to discuss in general how to improve production for the fat man. Now, I typically don't do this, but we are 19 days away from the big day, so it, it, it needs to be done. Do you have anything to say before I start my spiel? Why is it just you here? Well, I know you were recently made the manager at the Bath and Elf factories. Those happen to be under my administration, under the Elven Bath and Company. I know the stress is like getting to you and you likely don't know what to do. Most other managers have been through several Christmas crunches, but you're new and I don't hold that against you. So where should I begin? Ah, yes, production. So at the curtain rates your factory is producing, uh, you will only be able to reach roughly 25% of the demanded goods. Typically, such a high number was not needed in the past, but with recent global expansions, such production is needed. I know that such percent doesn't sound like a lot within the scheme of several different institutions, but the fat man has a large demand to fulfill. And if the demand is not met, there's going to be outrage. Now, there are a couple ways we can help alleviate this shortage in production. Um, one is to increase shifts, uh, my, my friend, but I don't think elves would like that. Now, now would they? Yes, they, they would not. As well as this, if you overtire your primary working group, their efficiency is likely to decrease exponentially. So that's why I bring forth to you this. I can order a reallocation of elvish workers from other non-toy factory settings of a portion of your pay uh, and overall pay from profits will have to go to the loss of profits from those areas. Yeah, that holiday splendor isn't free. However, since this production loss oversight is also partially my fault, I'll help chip in for this. Uh, we have plenty of spare elves at the coal mine factories who are likely willing to help. There haven't really been too many naughty kids this year. Not really much to be naughty about. Um, however, I will have to do a background check on them. Sometimes the fat man puts some of the criminal elves there, so it might take some time. I, I do assure you of this. Uh, they will get here on time, so don't worry about that. Uh, but while I'm here, how many temp workers do you think you'll need? Five, ten, uh, maybe fifteen, maybe twenty. Oh, that's not too bad. You should be able to get it. Hopefully Mr. Cole don't, uh, won't mind me taking a couple workers, uh, which I might be needed elsewhere, but eh. If things do get uncompressed, then I'll have, to, uh, I have the emergency Christmas authority, so, I mean, the fat man granted it himself, I get to use it. Yeah, I know, but that's only if push comes to shove. It's not like it's gonna happen. Uh... While I'm still here, let's talk about maximizing your production so this doesn't happen again. Now, I read over how this factory was being run before I came here. The break schedule, the number of men at each station, even the information delivery system. I've got to say, this is not what I like to see. I understand that you have been trying to better how this factory is running, 
And you have made improvements from the last manager. Oh, jeez. The last manager was a real case, you know? He didn't know his left from his right when it came to organization. I have no clue how he graduated from business school, let alone gain rights to a factory. So, you had to inherit his mess. And I know you've been trying your best to fix it. Probably should have put, uh, probably shouldn't have put you as a rookie in this factory, if you know what I mean. But it really was the only opening. Oh, how to fix this. I, the first thing is to streamline the factory line. It seems as if you have multiple people stationed at the unit during similar shifts. This can be remedied by shortening each shift to allow for an additional time slot. Uh, especially at the wrapping unit. Uh, the wrapping station, you know, which I happen to notice you have three whole people at this time slot. I understand how this can initially seem as if it would be efficient, but if we look at the math, each worker is wrapping a less optimal amount of presents. Uh, you know, the whole too many cooks in the kitchen doesn't really bake a cake thing. Yeah. In fact, perhaps you can reassign some of these workers to uh, gift production and reception uh, from prior calculations and other factories the amount of toy producers needs to be uh, greater than the amount of gift wrapper wrappers I think it's somewhat self-evident but hey that's me of course the amount of people you assign to each unit is up to you and the per exact ratios yeah yeah, I understand your plight, but this still needs to be addressed. This factory can be run a lot better than this. It once was a chief producer for the fat man, and that crazed manager got his hands on it. Now, it is, it's just a bit decrepit. I know that it can be fixed through your efforts. I believe in your abilities, my friend. That fat man depends on you to prepare enough gifts to fulfill that ever-so-growing quota. I have fixed uh, greater problems in the past, especially with the great gross. So, I can help you fix this. So, where was I? Ah, yes, reassigning. Uh, in terms of that, it is as simple as balancing an equation to produce maximum efficiency. You see, before I became the owner of the Baffin Arctic Toy Company, uh, I too was once a factory manager. In those days, I designed a simple equation. And now, perhaps it could be of help. It's simple, really. It needs to be a ratio of three production workers to every one wrapping worker. Then, the processing workers need to be a two to one with the wrapping workers. Three to one. Those numbers might have changed since then, but something akin to that should be a good calculation. Does that sound good? Why would there be more producers than processors? Simple. Even though the need for production has decreased due to cooperation with large tech companies, the damn things, the processing process has decreased for technological toys, which had to be tested in the, in the past, uh, by proxy. Uh, the numbers for both have somewhat gone down. Of course, there are always the non-technological toys, which we still make. That's why I think the equation still holds up, you know? Other than that, I think we need to address another organizational failure. In my studies, the informational distribution in this facility is terribly structured. you have any idea why you don't? Well... This factory has not yet gotten the upgrade ordered by the fat man. It's not running on ClauseNet 1.07, and it hasn't been for years. The software in this place is somewhat frozen over even, which means there hasn't been the annual elf maintenance check on it. Yes, that is why the ClauseNet is so slow in this facility. I checked which version you were on, and it turns out you're still running on version 0.07. There were so many inefficiencies in that version. So, this brings us to the fact that after the Christmas crunch, we'll have to be, it will have to be repaired. 
Well, we can't repair it during the Christmas crunch. It'd be a nightmare. But I understand your plight. I can't think of an easy solution for you at this moment. The best I can do is try and upgrade you to a more modern version that won't take a long install time. We can probably get a repairman to come in a week or so. But for now, you'll have to deal with the frigid slowness. Luckily, it isn't the most urgent thing. You will definitely need to fix the work schedule. Other than that, I feel as if things have been sorted out. I'll make sure those extra workers get here on time. And uh, in the meanwhile, you'll, you will need to work on improving the mess of a factory you were given. Thank you for taking the time out of your day uh, to sort this out. It is really greatly appreciated. Uh, with that, I dismiss you. Oh, you can go. That's what that means. Uh, there's nothing else. But still, thank you for your time.